You may think that no country is eager to have relations with Iran because they have been isolated for many years by the US sanctions. But this situation is changing for many reasons. In just one month, three presidents of the Central Asian countries visited Tehran and signed tens of contracts to develop ties with this country. Why Tehran is becoming a trend for neighboring countries? Let's have a look to know. Central Asia historically has been a part of Persian Empire or under its influence until Russian Empire became powerful enough to separate it from Persia. Like what happened with Caucasus and also Britain's great game separated another part in 19th century. Since then, Central Asia has been away from Iran's influence, though Persian footprint is still widespread in the culture and language of the countries of this region. Even names of these countries have a Persian suffix, which is Istan. Now things seem to be changing, as the power balance is shifting all over the region to the east of Europe. The isolated Iran has been hosting presidents and other high officials of these countries in recent days, one after another. Imam Ali Rahman, President of Tajikistan, Serdar Berdi Muhammadov, President of Turkmenistan, and Qasim Tokayev, President of Kazakhstan, visited Tehran in less than 30 days, and they signed various contracts including for Iranian companies to start construction of roads and buildings and bridges for them, and also to carry out oil and gas swap through Iran and so on. This is not important just from the economic point of view, but the fact that Iran is finally taking this country seriously, and they have reached to the point that they prefer to work with Tehran instead of sticking to the US sanctions is more significant. But why is it happening? And what has changed? Firstly, the Islamic Republic of Iran has become frustrated with reaching a permanent deal with the United States over its nuclear program and sanctions. So their new government has claimed from its first day that their priority is to promote ties with neighbors and Eastern powers. This is why before this forming permanent ties with the West meant everything for Tehran. Secondly, Iran has become a part of some influential non-Western blocs in recent years, such as Eurasian Economic Union and also Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So these blocs also facilitate economic and political partnership with non-Western countries for Iran. But there is also two notable factors. United States does not want to put more pressure on the oil and gas markets, while Washington and also European countries are facing grave consequences of imposing harsh sanctions against Moscow because of the Ukraine war. US may also consider not bothering Iran with these kinds of relations while there is still some minor hopes for reviving the nuclear deal. This is why White House is ignoring to meddle in the promotion of ties between Iran and Central Asian countries. This is why, for example, these countries did not think about taking such measures during the Trump presidency. And Russian factor. Moscow, because of the new political coalitions forming in the region and Europe, welcomes Iran's more positive presence in the Central Asia. For Kremlin, Iran is less dangerous than other actors in Central Asia, like US, China, or Turkey. And they know that Tehran would never do anything to provoke them. It's a historical chance for Iran to revive its influence without pressure or provocation from another power, especially the security and military cooperation with Tajikistan, which could be effective in confronting ISIS and also the Afghan issue in Central Asia. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and write your opinion down in the comments.